here's number 10 on our house inspection checklist and it relates to inspecting your linoleum flooring now this could be this would include sheets of linoleum flooring or linoleum tiles that are usually sold in 12 inch by 12 inch pieces tiles now if you have the tiles uh, I've seen them separate before I've seen them actually just separate away from each other now I don't know for sure if it's a humidity problem or if it's a manufacturer's defect because I actually installed some on a house one time and they, they separated about a sixteenth of an inch apart from each other so whether they were installed incorrectly I would have to admit that because I installed them so I don't know if that would be a good thing or if it was a manufacturer's defect I did see that happen once on a house that I did and I've seen it happen in other places that could be from humidity moisture in the concrete something like that but it did happen regular linoleum that comes in sheets and covers the entire surface of a kitchen or bathroom walkway um, something you know room inside your house um, look for any cracks any bubbling it's not uncommon to find a rip in the linoleum. Someone's moving a refrigerator and they rip it. Happened to me a couple of times. This isn't uncommon. Now, now, I'm not talking about rolling the refrigerator out. That isn't when it rips. It's when you go to turn it to roll it in another direction. Um, so be careful when you are moving large objects on linoleum. So, And if you're going to inspect your linoleum and you're going to pull your refrigerator out, you'd better really make sure that you remember this advice because the last thing you want to have happen to you is ruin something while you're looking for some type of damage. So linoleum will separate. And again, if it is separating, that could be because you have a moisture problem underneath your flooring. And this is usually going to be more common in concrete floor slabs than wood flooring. So wood flooring, again, could get moist it could expand, it, the plywood or the flooring could delaminate and create an air pocket uh, or, or, or cause the linoleum to separate. So look for any separation, cracks, gaps, and then again, like I said, the most important part of this is to actually address the problem. What is causing the, um, what's causing the original damage? Because if you just go in and fix it, you could end up with the same problem later on. If you own a house, you should inspect it regularly. But how can you inspect a home if you don't know what to look for? If you're not looking for a complicated checklist or something that wasn't written in a language that you can't understand anyway, do yourself a favor and visit this website today. The most valuable investment you have must be protected and inspected.